All right, welcome to today's video. And today's topic, we're continuing our series on Car Clubs 101. This is the second episode on that series. And today we're gonna to talk about what it is involved in setting up a car club. Now, from a social media standpoint, it's never been easier to start up a car club than it is now. And there's so many platforms on social media and so many things you can do to be able to gain members and reach out to your existing members and just run a car club through social media. And you can go through things like Instagram and YouTube to post pictures and videos from your events and reach out to new prospective members. You can have things like websites and Facebook in order to get a central location for your members to be able to interact and have your events set up through there so that way all your members are notified and it makes it really, really convenient. And from that standpoint, it's just amazing time to be able to set up car clubs. So of course, once you've gotten to the point where you're thinking about starting a car club, uh, you definitely need to look at things from a business perspective and look at things from your local state authorities and determine what paperwork is required, if any, to operate a car club where you're located. And I know like states like California, the if you're becoming a car club there, you definitely want to register as like a nonprofit, get club insurance. So that way you have protection for your board members and your individual members in case something were to happen on an event that you're at. I have one organiza organization that I'm part of, the Viper Owners Association. They're registered as nonprofits. Each local region, they have registered as nonprofits. We also have club insurance and things like that. So that way we make sure our members and board members are protected in case something happens at an event. And there are certain car clubs that I've been part of that say that they're not a car club that they're just a bunch of group of people that get together and hang out. But at the end of the day, they've got websites, social media presence, and they collect dues. And at that point, you really can't, in the eyes of the law, say that you're not a car club. And your board members especially are open up to potential litigation if something happens on one of your events. And that's the last thing you wanna happen. I mean, it is a lot of work to go through and find out what your local requirements are, set up a nonprofit status, get incorporated if you need to, get club insurance. Yes, this is work. And it's definitely not, some, not the fun part of doing car club stuff. But at the same time, it's something you should look into at the very least and implement to protect you and your the board members and the club members. So that way if you're out on an event somewhere and something happens, not everybody gets sued and end up having people losing all sorts of stuff as a result of it. So I don't mean to scare everybody out of setting up car clubs. I mean, there are definitely huge benefits to doing it. I'm just letting you, trying to let you know that there are certain things you want to take into consideration when doing so, just to make sure that you're covered. And it's not that daunting of a task. It's just extra legwork and grunt work that you need to go about and do. So as always, uh, if you like today's topic and today's video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, hit that like button down below. And if you wanna be kept up to date on all the videos that I upload, especially this continuing series on Car Clubs 101, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. So that way you'll be kept up to date on all of the videos that I upload. And as always, I will see you the next video.